one of my shells is gonna be a Pat McGrath and one of my shells is gonna be a Tom Ford because put it on display, I'm proud. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So, elephant in the room, filming in a different space. No, this is not the new house. I'm still in my old house, but I just filmed this look in natural light. So, I just figured you're already in here. Let's just roll with it. So, today, I'm doing a little hodgepodge, a little mix of products that I hauled. It's not a big one. I just wanted to share these things with you guys. Honestly, because I want to use them and I haven't used them yet and I'm pretty excited about them. So before we get into this video, if you're new here, we would love to have you join the family. We are growing and we would love you to become a part of it. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload videos twice a week and it's mainly beauty content with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So if you want to see what I picked up on my little mini haul, we got some Pat McGrath, I shopped the sale. We have some Macy's because I found out about a beauty sale they were having and some Marshalls. Then stay tuned and keep on watching. So we're gonna start off with the stuff I got from Marshalls because who doesn't love super discounted makeup? The first thing I picked up is this e.l.f. lip exfoliator in Rose. If you guys have seen me haul this before, I had the regular one and then I recently picked up the mint one. This was on sale for $3. I love how this is made because it's super easy. It's like a lipstick and it's super easy just to use as a lip scrub. And I like these to put in my travel bag because it's easier. So I never saw this one before, Rose, so I just decided to pick it up. $3, come on. I also decided to pick up this e.l.f. Primer Infused Shimmer Blush in Always Breezy. I don't have any of the shimmer ones. I have um, Always Spicy and Always Rosy, I think, which are mattes. And so when I saw this one, I thought it was a really good shade. And then I was like, well, you know, you've been into glowy products lately. It's only $3. Why don't you go ahead and give it a try? So I'm gonna open this if I can. So this is what it looks like. And what's this swatch gonna do? Oh yeah, that's a pretty shade. So that's it there on the back of my hand. Nice little sheen and it's a nice wash of color. So definitely excited about that. This is a good color, something that I would normally wear. Next we have the Milk Makeup Glazed Flex Highlighter. It's the shade Glaze. I honestly picked this up because I just recently showed you guys that I picked up the shade Iced and it was super Kind of almost a little too icy for me, little, little, but if I use just a little bit, it'll be fine. And I figured this one was gonna be dark, more like a bronzer-ish kind of, not a bronzer topper, because this is too, too shiny. But I think I can still wear it. I just have to go in with a super light hand. That is very, very bronzy. And I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys. It is so smooth and just look bad. Look at that. So smooth and so like the light hits it and it's just like, bam, right there. And then you turn and it's like, is she glowing? Bam, yes she is. So yeah, I just, y'all know me if I get it. <laughs> the story of my life. If I can get it on a discount, why not? The next thing I picked up is the Smashbox Always Sharp 3D Eyeliner. I got this, oh sorry, the Milk Makeup was $9.99. Um, I got this for $8.99. This is an eyeliner, and I don't know that I've tried any of their eyeliners, but I think I really like this one because it's called 3D Sparks, and it, it almost looks like, I'm sure you guys can't see that because that just would not work that way for me work out so well but this is like a green but it has shimmer in it oh yeah that is absolutely gorgeous it's a green like an olive green but it has shimmer in it i don't know if you guys can see that i hope you can oh i'm so glad i picked that up because i thought that's what it was but i was like mm, maybe not but beautiful 
I love wearing eyeliners for like this, like on a day where I'm not doing a lot of makeup, but I still want to have a little pop of color. I'll put a purple in my waterline. I'll put a shade like this. I will sometimes even put a blue, like not anything like turquoise or anything like that, but like a dark navy blue, just something to help kind of give it a little oomph. But this is gorgeous. Next thing I picked up, I already know it's going to be too dark. I don't want to hear it. It's fine. I picked this up in this shade because I picked up the Kat Von D Good Apple Balm in this shade and I thought this was my shade match and it is not. But I found it and I was excited. It was $10. This is the Kat Von D True Portrait Liquid to Powder Foundation. And I was, I think I was just excited that they had deeper shades. And like I said, I thought this was my shade. So whatever, we'll mix it with something. But this is what the packaging looks like. It's so pretty. Like I could sit this up on my display in my beauty room. I just, I love the aesthetic of it, but I'll show you guys just a little drop. Well, I didn't shake that enough and I was squeezing and way too much came out. Hold on. But yeah, this shade is way too reddish neutral for me. I mean, guys, come on. We've been through this. Y'all saw my foundation declutter. That's what it looks like there. It's not horrible but it is not an exact match. So y'all know I know how to finesse and I think I can make this one work. This texture is weird though because it's it feels like a powder, like it's smoothing out like a powder in my hands. I don't know, definitely different, but you have to make sure you shake this well. So that is that. Declutter foundations and then buy a bunch more. The next thing I picked up is this It Cosmetics Superhero, what is this called? Celebrate Family, Celebrate Your Superpowers. This is $24.99 and it includes two eyeliners and then the Superhero Mascara. I love this mascara. It is a stretch, like lengthening. They say, yeah, Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. This is a full size of the mascara, which cost, if not the amount of this, a little bit more. I'll put it on the screen. But I was like, oh, and I get two eyeliners? Why would I not? And those eyeliners are full size. Okay, boo. Come on, it. So this is the mascara. Not going to open it, but I already have a backup of this. So now I have two. And then these are the two liners. One is a black. I thought one was a purple. It is. Okay. So I'll put it next to these other ones. Ooh, this is so creamy. I haven't used any of their liners before. So this is the purple in the middle and then the black up top. So those are nice. It says no tug. Definitely agree. It feels like a gel. Is it? A yes, it is a gel. High impact smudge proof gel eyeliner. So that is what those look like. This is the green one I showed y'all earlier down here. I was really excited about this find. Last thing I picked up, I ain't gonna lie, I swatched this already because I've been curious about this. This is the Cara Beauty Duo. And this is in the, this is an eyeshadow palette. It's named You Had Me at Aloha. I picked it up because I saw these shades on the back and I just thought this was gonna be so beautiful. I don't know what the deal is with the, I'll show you guys. I, like I said, I did swatch some of them already, but if you look at this, the metallics in here are so soft. Like you see how there's dents in some of them? Like this one, I just, I don't, I don't know what that is. I tried to pick it up with a brush. I couldn't, same with this one, almost all of them. So, I don't know if I like it. I don't know how to put them on, I guess, is the thing. So let's see. I'm going to try with my finger because I feel like when I put my finger in it, it literally just, they feel like the color pop. See, they feel like toppers. I guess that's why. Oh, no, that one don't. Okay, cotton candy. Of course, now y'all going to make me look bad because I was talking mad mess when I first bought this. So that's what some of the shimmer shades look like. But this first one, wink, no, this one, wink, wink, 
it's really soft. Like I put my finger in it and it just dented. And then this one is cotton candy, same thing. So I'll swatch these for you guys real quick. This first one is Starlight, which is a topper. Then this next one is Wink Wink, which is the really soft one. Then this is Cotton Candy. That one's pretty. And then this last one is Mermaid Magic. So those are the shades there. Probably the worst place to swatch, but that's Barbara for you. Anyway, so those are the swatches. They seem just really subtle. And like I said, I had trouble picking them up with my brush. So I guess these are gonna be finger swatches, but let's see what these mattes look like real quick. I just picked up different shades. So this is Laguna. This one is Crystal Clear. This one is Big Island. And then this last one is Midnight. So you can see they're kind of powdery, but I mean, most mattes that are super soft are, but these are pretty pigmented. So I'm glad I'm doing this on camera because when I first opened it, I was like, I didn't waste my damn money. This one only cost, I say only cost, it was $8.99. So it wasn't horrible, but it was still, I don't like, even if I do get it on sale, I don't want to waste my money. So I'm going to try this out because like I said, I've been seeing this brand a lot in Marshalls. I just didn't know what it was. So I picked out one that I thought would be a good palette to add to my collection. Not something that I have already, but I still wanted it to work. So I'll keep you guys posted on that one. Y'all, I'm trying to wipe these liners off. I have a makeup wipe. <laughs> oh you better be careful i mean it's coming off a little bit but it is gonna take a scrub and be careful putting this on your eyes oh this is crazy okay it i guess that's gonna have to stay for a minute because i don't want to get stuck scrubbing anyway so i picked up some stuff during the pat mcgrath sale she had 30 percent off for friends and family if you spent over 150 dollars that's like two things <laughs> not really but kind of when you buy from pat mcgrath so i picked up some things i had been eyeballing wanting to try and i could have went ham don't get me wrong there was more stuff but i was just like barbara no get the things you've been looking at you've been waiting for this sale and click add to cart and get out of there so i picked up a backup of my Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Under Eye Setting Powder. I did not get the banana. I don't want banana. I don't like yellow powders on my face anymore. This is the medium one, so it's almost like a beige, actually. Since we in my bathroom, in my vanity, I have my other one. And I remember when I first got it, I was like, I'm so scared to use this because I'm gonna run out so fast because the powder just goes up everywhere. So, Probably every sale, I'm gonna pick up one of these because they are expensive. So this is the same exact one, and I just picked up a backup. Next, I picked up the Sublime Perfection Primer. It says, smooths, hydrates, and preps skin for a soft focus blurred effect. Runway tested, mother approved. I've never tried the primer, and I think at one point I was thinking about doing like a full face of Pat McGrath, and I didn't have a primer. So now I do, and I think I'm going to do that video for you guys soon, but I know I wouldn't have bought this when my skin was oily, and now that it's dry, this should work pretty well for me, but you guys will see it in a video soon. I couldn't help myself. I said I wasn't going to get this because I didn't need it, and then I got it. This is the Divine Rose Skin Fetish Ultra Glow Highlighter in the shade Divine Rose. This is her highlighter, the one that came out with the newest collection. And I think I was excited about this one because gotta have something to open this stuff um, because it's a, it's a peachy gold. It's not your standard gold and it is different from her other one. So I feel like all the highlighters that I bought from Pat McGrath, they're all different. So I don't feel like I am hoarding highlighters. I'm hoarding makeup in general but i'm not hoarding her products buying the same thing over and over again 
So this is the packaging, super cute. And then this is what the highlighter looks like. So it's like a peachy gold. It's not like as gold. Her other one is more like a champagne gold. I love that one. Y'all know y'all seen it in the gold, heavy, heavy packaging. This one, that is so pretty. That is it right there. Look, it's really blinding. And I mean, I guess I did, I didn't do a heavy, heavy swatch. I also didn't expect it to show that much. So yeah, this could easily be something that I could put in my everyday drawer and use it just like today with just a light little highlight, but then also build it up for something more intense. I just love the shade of this and I love Pat McGrath. So when I can get 30% off, honestly, I don't know. I think at this point with where my collection is, I'm probably only going to wait for sales unless it's like some, I don't see that there's anything else other. I got Divine Rose too the minute it came out. She has a way with her advertising that just makes you be like, oh, I need it. I need it. I need it. So anyway, I'm going to try to only buy stuff on the sale because her stuff is really pricey and 30% off is a huge discount. The last thing that I picked up, I'm not going to lie. This was more for the collector in me than it is for I feel like I need this. I picked up the Mothership One Subliminal Palette. I picked up this one because I like the shades and now that I've gotten more comfortable in cool tones, I was like, Barbara, you don't have a Pat McGrath cool tone palette. So I picked it up 30% off. I paid like $88 for it, I think. This is what she looks like. Y'all, it's pretty. I just remember when it first came out, I looked at it and I was like, you are never going to wear those shades except that blue and maybe like some of the special shades. So you are not wasting that money. But now I'm like, hell yeah, girl, you can make some looks with that. But that blue, I think I have another blue from her. Do I have more than one? I'm sure I do. But I think I have a blue that is very similar to that that I got in a kit. So I don't know. But this shade right here like look at that did y'all expect to see that pink shade like that nope that looks like a blue but you turn it to the side and look what she do yes that is what gets me excited about makeup and then last but not least i picked up some stuff from macy's there's a page i follow called save with sydney i've mentioned it before and she advertised that there were Tom Ford quads half off. Baby run. I clicked so fast and I tried to look through to see what else they had, but I was so scared stuff was gonna run out. I found African Violet. Remember I told you guys, I was not gonna pay full price. I was just gonna wait. And if I could get it on sale, I would get it. If not, I wasn't. I was so excited excited after I dropped the brushes. Y'all know this comes with two brushes, but look at that. Y'all know why, right? The purple, I really like this orange too. And this shade is a very pretty, like everyday shade for the lid. This probably isn't gonna be as deep as I would like for something to put to deepen up my outer V. But I mean, I could just pull another color from somewhere else. I feel like that's the case with a lot of his quads. There's some beautiful shades, but a lot of them don't have a deep enough shade for our skin tone. But I've been wanting this one and I saw that I could get it on sale. So I hopped on it. I think this is probably going to be my last quad. There's no other ones that I'm looking at, trying to stalk, trying to find. So I think I'm good. Next, I picked up one of his lip lacquers. This is in the shade O2 Quiver. It's a matte. This is what the packaging looks like. I don't have any Tom Ford lip products. I don't think. But this is basically a liquid lipstick and I wanted to get a nude, something that I would wear, but y'all, his packaging, like I think when I move into the new house, one of my shelves is gonna be a Pat McGrath and one of my shelves is gonna be a Tom Ford because put it on display, I'm proud. So this is, Oh, I can't get this out of here. I'm gonna break it. <gasps> it broke. I tried to pull it out and it broke. Oh no, boo. Hold on a second. I can't fix it. 
and I don't want to sit here all day and waste filming time. I'm taking this back, not even playing. This is what the shade looks like. It is a very gorgeous shade and something I would wear every day, which is what I wanted. I don't know what the hell just happened, why I couldn't take that out. Maybe that's why they are all on sale. But yeah, that is what the shade looks like. I'm going to see if I can exchange it and get another one. That just killed my vibe. Damn, Tom. The last two products I picked up are these Becca Ultimate Lip Definers. Y'all know Becca's going out of business, and I don't know if this is why they were on sale, but super discounted, and I don't have any Becca um, lip liners. So I picked up the shade Chill and the shade Energetic. Chill is a brown. So this is what it looks like. There we go. Um, and then I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. It's definitely more of a red brown than it is like a chestnut brown but very pretty color that is it there then the other one i picked up is energetic which is also a brown but it is lighter so that's what this one looks like this actually looks really red she don't look brown at all that's the second one there but i love shades like with like this with a nude so this will be perfect so that's it for my haul, guys. Told you guys it wasn't too much, but I mean, hell, with Pat McGrath being in the mix, we still spent a little bit of money, but that's all right. We are coming to the end of our shopping. I know you guys enjoy haul videos, but baby, these pockets need a rest. We are, if I'm not already in a new house by the time you see this, we're getting ready to move and I want to buy house stuff. I am not good with decor, but I want to try. So I have to make sure I have some money saved for that. So... I'm going to chill on my shopping. I'm going to do a lot of looks with the stuff you guys have seen me buy. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.